Coming close to common little things. A close-up and macro 3D show based on focus bracketing using Picolet, Stereo Photomaker and M-Objects. This is a stereo image produced after a single click on the release button of a Panasonic Micro Four Thirds camera. 40 images with increasing focal distance were taken automatically without moving anything, then stacked by Picolet and transformed into a synthetic stereo image using the depth map that is produced by Picolet during the stacking routine. This picture was produced from two focus stacks, with the second one taken after a camera shift. The two stacked images were then combined by means of Stereo Photomaker. My homemade crispy bread. At the macro scale, the seats get a depth that we don't normally notice. Here comes the love story of two potatoes. The prince at the right loves the princess at the left because she has got such a beautiful crown on her head. The close-up shows that it is covered with the wonderful red pearls. Unfortunately, there was no happy end of the story. Both of them got cooked and eaten. Sorry, I'm a microbiologist and I like to watch microbes at work. Here, mold on a rotting nectarine. All stages of raspberry fruit development, from the bud to the blossom and from a green to a red berry. And the view into the berry before you eat it. The actual fruits of strawberries are the brownish little grains on the surface. In the macro image you can see them, as well as some mold again. Some everyday items that don't need so many comments. that the stereo people love vintage technique, like old steam locomotives. Here you can see the sophisticated illumination technique I'm using, reflected on the glass. 
just the window at the left side. Back to natural things, a piece of bark of a birch covered by lichens. Lichens and fructifying moss on a little branch. Firebugs love lime trees. Here they are hiding in its bark between the lichens or underneath some leaves. Focus bracketing always requires 20 to 40 seconds. These pictures were taken in the early morning when the temperature was low enough to keep the bugs inactive. A tiny little spider. Of course not an insect and hopefully not scary. Crane fly with centimeter long legs. And a green weevil with a total size of 9 mm. Here taken through a fourfold microscope objective mounted on a 200 mm telephoto lens. Hoverfly, it seems to have a smile on its face. guy doesn't look that friendly and indeed it's a rubber fly. A hairy cockchafer. You hardly can see the eyes. A close-up shows that the eyes are full of hair and that the first antenna segment is a brush sweet to clean them. A little snail covered by barnacles. The baby barnacles are hardly bigger than the sand grains on the ground. A little coral. And a tiny feather on a mirror. Some minerals. A gold nugget. No, it's fool's gold, pyrite or FES2. some flowers from our garden.
fruits of the small burr were the model for the hook and loop fastener. Buttercup. A brother or sister of the green plant louse will show up in one of the next pictures. Dandelion Blossom. Did you notice the plant louse in the upper right corner? The dandelion blossom turns into a blow ball. the seeds as little umbrellas. The seeds are fastened by a tiny and fragile black pin. Poppy blossom in three stacks coming closer and closer. and a seed capsule at the end. Picole is freeware. The techniques used to generate this show are described on the Picole homepage.